ChatGPT isn't just for writing, it's about to supercharge the way you edit. I made these icons and assets without paying for a single subscription, and I even made this dollar counter in less than 15 seconds. The results honestly blew me away, and the best part is you both save time and you save money doing it this way. So let's just open up ChatGPT. So the first trick I'm going to show you is how you can make these minimalistic icons. So instead of paying for uh, subscriptions like these uh, Vitizi and stuff like that, you can make icons like all of these icons really quickly inside of JTPT. So you just need to prompt it right. So I have this prompt that you can also grab in the description. You can actually grab all of these prompts we're going to be using today completely for free. So I'll just copy the prompt here and add it into JTPT. And then I'm just going to choose the color I want for the icon. And I'll just make this white. And then you can choose the object you want so let's just see which type of objects we want we can just use something so i'll just do a notebook like that and then i'll just generate this usually just takes around 20 to 20 seconds to make so yeah honestly this looks really clean to be honest we want to, to do one more we can of course just copy from and then i'll just change it from notebook and we can maybe do a video editor and this looks quite cool as well. So this was the first trick I was going to show how you can make these really cool minimalistic icons and you can do a lot of stuff. It's pretty much just the imagination that sets the limits. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can make this uh, dollar counter with an expression for DaVinci Resolve. So as you can see here, we have a quite a big prompt. So what I say in the prompt is basically what variables and uh, and controls it can call in the expression. Because previously I have had a little bit of problems with uh, it calling some things that didn't exist in the Lua code for DaVinci Resolve. So I just made this and I made it say it's only one line expression. And yeah, here we can type our request. So it's here we are going to say we want a money count and i'll show you how everything works and of course this prompt is linked in the description as well so i'll just make a new chat and then paste this in and then i'll just type my request i'll just say make a dollar count for my text plus for my text box make it count from 200 to 1019 and make it have a dollar sign for the number and then it will just cook this up for us so we'll just usually it thinks a little bit so as you can see 12 seconds which is pretty fast then we can just copy this and go into the venture solve and then i'll just grab a tick plus then if you right click in the text box here you can do expression then you'll just delete this paste in the prompt sorry the answer from a prompt and then you can see it makes this money count counting up to 1019 to make it shorter still count to 1019 and even if i make it longer as well so we can just change the numbers in this one if we want to change what numbers it's counting to which is uh, quite nice the next thing I'm going to show you is how, if you watch my previous video about how to make minimalistic real editing, I uh, said something about I use ChatGPT to generate my ass. So I don't really pay for a lot of um, dog image subscriptions and stuff like that. Instead, I use ChatGPT to do it. So what you can do is just open a Google tab here and then I'll type a lantern. So then we can see we get a lot of these images of a lantern and they're all pretty much just uh, stock images from a uh, paid subscriptions. So I'll just find one of these I like. I like this one. Just copy it. And and paste it into ChatGPT, and then I'll just write a quick prompt for it. I'll just say, make a prompt for me to generate a similar lantern with a transparent PNG background. And then it will quickly generate me a prompt. And then you can just paste it in this chat here, or you can just paste it in, in another chat if you want that. And then I'll just paste this in this chat, and then we'll just generate it. So, yeah, this was the finished result. So, yeah, as you can see, we got this really cool looking lantern. If we look at this one, it's pretty close, I would say. So, yeah, that's really cool. And you can, of course, do it with whatever you like. If you watch a video and you see this cool AI looking animation or stuff like that, you can just ask ChatGPT to generate a similar image once you've reached out it. So, yeah, this was the third trick so sometimes when you edit you can't really figure out which type of animation you want to use so therefore you can actually use a chat gpt really good to do animation for a certain part of the video so i made this prompt if we just go back here to help me generate animation ideas based on a script and then we can if we want to do a specific style we can also tell it to do a specific style of animation so i'll just copy this prompt into a new chat a quick breakdown of the prompt itself i just made it so it gives you multiple ideas in the first prompt i made it uh, 
yeah. did a lot of text animations and stuff like that. And that's pretty basic. It's not really what I'm looking for. So I wanted to make visual metaphors. So when we talk about something, it uh, makes a visual demonstration of what we are talking about. And then I said, uh, text can be included in the animation part, but only if it's a better way to deliver the idea than if we do a visual metaphor. Yeah. And then I just made it uh, so it's uh, unique. Then I made it so it uh, asks follow up questions. So it can, for example, ask if you want to make it make a frame. Sometimes when you read the text, it'd be a bit hard to figure out what it exactly means. So then you can make a visual presentation of it and also make a storyboard of the animation. And if you want typography, you can also do that. But enough talking about the prompt. What we'll do here is just type the animation style we want. So if you like Apple style animation, you can make it to Apple style animation. I actually like Iman Gachi style quite a bit. So I'll just type Iman Gachi and then you will just paste the script here if you got the script. If you don't grab the script, you can of course just write it in manually or you can transcribe it in DaVinci Resolve or whatever editing uh, software you use. So I will just uh, do the intro for this video uh, to show you it. So I'll just go to my script at the intro and then I'll just copy it and then paste it in the script here and then I'll just let it go. So yeah, it generates really good animation ideas and I'm so impressed about how good it actually is. So let's just do an example. For example, we here it says ChatGPT isn't just for writing. It's about to supercharge the way you edit. Then we have typing metaphors. So we got something typing on the screen and then it suddenly explodes into editing icons that fly towards the viewer, which is a pretty good idea. Oh yeah, this one is a pretty cool as well. So it says a cursor that clicks on ChatGPT, which transforms into a water rocket that lasts through a timeline symbolizing supercharge. And that's a crazy good idea. I really couldn't have figured out myself. So yeah, it gives a lot of good ideas if you really scroll through everything. And if you want a storyboard or whatever, you can just type it below here. So yeah, ChatGPT can save you a ton of time and a ton of money in your editing process. But if you want to take it even further, I built these plugins inside of DaVinci Resolve that saves you hours. Thanks for watching and have a great day out there.